everyone uh, first would like to thank harish ji for those kind words and uh, further take over from i believe the previous gentleman mr M uh, mani ji who mentioned about he is between us and lunch but i think so i'll take that line from him i think so we are between uh, lunch and everybody else um so first of all uh, thank you and i'll just give a brief about the break up of our presentation into three the first uh, we'll talk about in today's uh, surroundings how design and aesthetics are evolved the second on one of the processes that we utilize uh, to support our customers uh, to achieve those aesthetics and the third we'll just give a small brief on mutual design is where science and art break even science is knowing and art is in perceiving when uh, we we talk about design we talk about we break it into two at our end one is the structural design which largely focuses on the contour and the shape of the components uh, that we are going to manufacture and the second is uh, the aesthetics which largely is on the texture the color uh, and those kinds of the aspects uh, of the components uh, so design infuses power the power glorifies a product in a way that can influence the human mind so today there are many examples around us where you know uh, while looking at the design or the aesthetic of the product we can actually recognize what it is thanks Amit. so just to give a brief about this uh, technology aqua graphics is actually a film transfer technology on various substrates uh, our interface with uh, aesthetics in mutual have been since 90s through painting and we have been using the, this technology from say last two decades but with evolvement there is a newer generation of this technology which we have already uh, installed in our Pune facility so just moving uh, just moving on so just some brief about uh, aqua graphic it's a water transfer process to decorate 3d parts uh, it has way superior and sharper pattern coverage in this process benefits is we can customize a film or a design or a pattern for a particular customer and it can be produced globally where if it's a global organization the pattern or design can be consistent throughout the globe this process also offers uh, haptic surfaces so you can f feel the surface along with uh, just the visual so for example if it's a wooden pattern earlier we would uh, transfer this on our product but you could just see it visually but now when we uh, convert it with the new generation you have options of even feeling uh, similar to wood so and of course uh, this uh, process also uh, has flexibility so there's uh, we can do from a low batch quantity to high volumes in thousands it does not matter so we have done some programs for limited edition for some of our customers and of course these sizes that we can do it varies so the largest parts which we this pro process offers is from 1.5 meters to a depth of 200 mm yeah. good afternoon all uh, thank you mr arish for introducing me uh, thank you elite plus team and miss nidhi verma for uh, giving me this opportunity to share uh, my thoughts yeah, uh, this is the uh, small uh, what I'll going to present. So I'll be a bit, bit touching on the uh, regulations, uh, what different companies talk about on uh, these regulations. So I've captured these uh, from the information available uh, in the public domain. Uh, then I'll be uh, covering the challenges on the, with respect to recycling and reuse. Uh, then what are the emerging trends? 
and then I'll summarize uh, these uh, things and then I'll talk about sustainability at Asian Paints. Yeah, uh, there are two uh, main regulations when we talk about uh, as per the latest plastic waste management rule and I'm just covering only the rigid pack plastic packaging as of now. Uh, so about recycling uh, from 25, 26 onwards, uh, basically uh, people are, uh, so the regulations talk about uh, usage of recycled content into the rigid packaging which starts with 30% and year on it increases by 10%. And uh, with respect to reuse, uh, before I speak on reuse, uh, the regulation talks about that uh, without changing the structure of the packaging, either put for similar use or make to another use. Uh, this just a glimpse of some of the companies uh, which uh, are talk uh, and they are uh, basically, uh, which they have declared about the uh, sustainability. Uh, what are the key things which are emerging out from uh, these uh, basically is uh, basically uh, everyone is talking, most of MG talk, companies are talking about uh, use of recycle, uh, reusable, biodegradable or compostable plastic packagings. The second thing, uh, many of the companies have taken target around uh, usage of recycle content, maybe around from 25 to 50 percent. Uh, the third thing is uh, they are also talking about uh, reducing the intensity when uh, its intensity may be choosing the other alternates or either reduce the weight of the packaging. And definitely the second part is the, about the usage of recycled material. And most of them are talking about uh, implementation of these regulations from 2025 onwards. So good afternoon everyone, uh, first of all I would like to thank uh, the Elite Plus team for conducting such a wonderful forum for knowledge sharing and I think uh, it will benefit to all of us in a greater way. So uh, coming back to uh, like what we heard in the morning session there was a talk about sustainability and one of our keynote speaker addressed about a sustainable process. So that, that would be my key topic for uh, the afternoon and uh, I would be mainly talking on the ground zero work uh, which we have been doing and we continue to do at Nilkamal, uh, primarily focused uh, by achieving uh, the sustainability uh, with the energy management. So just briefly I will explain, uh, like uh, take you through Neil Kamal, so I think uh, most of us know that we are one of the leading manufacturers in uh, uh, plastic molded furniture and material handling. We have uh, about 13 plants all over India which is and uh, which are supported by a, a huge uh, distribution and uh, sales network. So apart from furniture and material handling, uh, we are uh, uh, steadily growing up in uh, um, uh, other business lines like office furniture, modular furniture and uh, bubble guard extrusion sheets. Now uh, all our plants uh, are a complete package of uh, QHSC certifications, the latest versions and uh, because of our work in manufacturing excellence and uh, energy conservation, uh, we have been uh, awarded uh, even gold award by Government of India by Honorable uh, Shri Piyush Goel also. <laughs> so coming uh, uh, straight away uh, to the topic, see what happened was that uh, <laughs> over past 7-8 uh, years, uh, Neil Kamal had a huge battery of the injection molding machines, around 100 plus injection molding machines were there. Uh, and <laughs> We as a company had set up a clear objective that uh, we realized earlier that uh, the need of the sustainability is uh, the need of the hour. So um, zero water discharge, uh, almost 100% plastic recycle we had already done. So the energy conservation uh, came up as a key 